Hi, I'm Becky Higgins, creator of Project Life and a big believer in documenting the everyday. And I feel like I've done a pretty good job at documenting everyday moments most of my life. It's just something that runs through my veins. But several years ago, I actually experimented with something in my picture taking and documenting that I had never done before. I tried just taking one picture a day instead of doing it events um, based or themed based. And so what I learned through that experience and just choosing one picture picture each day that would just tell the story of something that was happening in our family is I feel like I had never in my entire life documented my life so well and told my family's story so completely. And so from that experience, um, Project Life was born. Here are 10 of my very favorite picture taking ideas and tips. First of all, don't forget to take pictures of those very mundane moments. So for example, this is Claire, she's nine, and just like a lot of kids her age, she loves to be on her iPad mini. She likes watching her favorite shows and playing her favorite games. And this is something that is very ordinary, it's mundane, it happens all the time, not all the time, but it happens on a pretty regular basis. It's a part of her everyday life and where it really just seems like it's her downtime, it's a part of who she is and it's a part of her story. Another example of an everyday mundane thing is the stuff that you eat and not just the elaborate meals that you might create in the kitchen, but hey, I went through a phase recently where I wanted a dipped cone from McDonald's every day when I picked up my kids from school. So that was my treat for a little while and thankfully I got out of that phase. But this is a dipped cone from McDonald's in the driver's seat of my mom van and that's an everyday moment. Another example of an everyday moment is when your kids get up, make sure your camera is already with you. It's in your pocket, it's in your hand, and when you wake them up and you open those windows and the sunlight comes in, if it's bright enough outside, snap that picture before they get out. This is Claire just waking up in the morning and that is a part of her story as well. One more example of an everyday moment that just seems like it would be so easy to pass by is your routine, whether you're doing your hair, your makeup, brushing your teeth. These little things don't seem like they matter, but I think it would be really fascinating to go back and see some of these things from my own childhood or my mom's childhood or past. So here is my makeup. Um, little routine and it's all spread out. I was doing it on my office countertop at home and it's the stuff that I use right now which is going to be different than the stuff that I use in 20 years. So later I'm going to find that interesting and I hope my kids would find that interesting too. All right, another tip for you is um, when you eat out and you go to a restaurant, some, some of us really like to take pictures of those beautiful elaborate meals that we pay for. And sometimes the presentation of it is so pretty you wanna take a picture. Well, here is the problem with that. The lighting in restaurants is usually terrible. It's beautiful for ambiance, but terrible for picture taking. So when I was out to dinner recently with some friends, we discovered something that worked really well, and that is that we all got our camera phones out, our, um, you know, our cameras, they all have flashlights on them and everyone just was shining their light at a different angle on this wedge salad and I've never taken a more beautifully lit picture in my life at a restaurant so that's another tip is use the light from someone else's camera if you do have a dark setting Another tip is that if you have little ones at home and even fur babies, those who are a lot smaller than you are, we have the tendency as large people, tall people, adults, to stand where we are and snap that picture looking down. You wanna make sure that you get down at their angle sometimes. It doesn't have to be like that every time, but here's a picture of Oreo and I was down at his level, which brings a totally different um, feel and element to the photograph and tells a different type of story. All right, the next tip, tip number four, is that um, in most cases, most people and children have their very favorite things. So one of my favorite things, for example, is my iPhone, right? It, it is on my body, I carry it around with me all the time, it's in my pocket, it's in my purse. Well, our kids have favorite things too. And in this case, this is Crew with his very favorite blanket and his puppy. And Again, these are parts of everyday life that are very easy to look over, but I am forever grateful that I have pictures of my little ones with their favorite things. Not just the favorite thing and not just my child, but those together, the child with the favorite thing, and in this case, it's crew with both of those items. 
Another tip for you is to make sure that when your child is creating or there's something in production that you snap pictures of that and try different angles. So here is Crew working on some creative project because he does that every day. And what I did to get this shot is I actually stood at the very end of the counter and I put my camera on the counter and took that steep angle down looking at Crew from a distance. And so it kind of speaks a different story when you kind of see all that countertop that leads up to him your eyes drawn to him that way and it shows um, it shows his creativity and a different angle to capture their working on homework or making an art project or whatever is to go straight above them and shoot straight down and that is just a different style so uh, in this example of a of crew working on his creative project you can see that it's the same thing it's my child creating but it's a different angle all right, don't forget your stuff. So I don't think that most adults actually take their camera to work, but hey, you've got that camera on your phone, right? So when you're in the middle of a project, you're working on a report, or in our case recently at work, we were in the middle of producing a video. So we had stuff scattered everywhere. So I took my phone camera and just stood right where I was standing with the camera up like this so you can catch even my toes in the picture to show where all of this mess is surrounding me. And capture the action, capture just the stuff around you um, as part of your everyday and what you're working on. Another tip is to, um, to not forget about the moments that are less than stellar or happy. So recently we had an incident, just like most moms have, where we had some crocodile tears. And that was because Crew was sick, he missed school, but because he missed school, he had to miss the school's big international festival. It was a really big deal, and he's a kindergartner, so it was his first one. And as brother and sister left the house, and he is in my arms, he was just so upset and I was standing by a mirror in my entryway phones always in my pocket and we said goodbye to Porter and Claire and I caught this glimpse of us together and no one was there to take the picture but we sometimes have to take pictures ourselves and it's okay to take pictures of sad moments once in a while so in this case I took my phone out of my pocket I just put it over my shoulder and snapped this picture of me and crew and it was a mom-son moment and it was kind of a sad moment but it's a story that we can tell in part of our family yearbook Here's another tip for you. On your camera that is built into your phone, you have the ability on most of them, as far as I'm aware, to be able to tap on the thing that is closer to you in order to make the background sort of out of focus. So if there's a lot of distance there, you can actually get that effect that was um, many years ago otherwise only available to do on the big fancy DSLR or the SLR cameras. But with your current technology, you can do that. So here's a picture in nature here in Arizona where I live, and I was closer to this book and focused on that by tapping on that part of my screen and everything else just sort of went out of focus. So that's something that's really cool to try whether it's with nature or not. So here's something to think about. I know this is difficult for some of you to wrap your heads around, but I as a mom have learned a while ago to just let go of certain things. So you don't have to keep every single thing. I know that all of the creations that the kids bring home are precious possessions. But the thing is, is that many of those items might contain acid and acid can spread to all of your other stuff, including your pictures. Why does that matter? Because after a number of years, I know because I used the same stuff when I was a kid, it's going to fall apart and it's going to just cause problems in those memory books that you're trying to keep. So the trick to that is to simply brace yourself. This is a big one. Just take a picture of the item. So here are a couple of Mother's Day things that Crew made for me recently. And they are a Mother's Day card and a little invitation to a thing. They're both made with construction paper, the type of the type of paper that is made with a lot of acid. So I know I don't want to save those from um, a preservation standpoint, an archival standpoint. So I want to take pictures of these items. And what better to do than to take a picture of the items with the child. Okay, next tip related to what I just talked about, sometimes you have something that is in the form of a book. So my friends teased me about this, but when Porter was our first baby, he still is our first baby, but when he was a baby, I documented to the minute his life. This is when he ate, this is when he slept, 
This is when he rolled over. This is when he, and you know what? This book that I have is, it's cool, but he and I don't really care about the minute by minute. We care about the memories that we made and the things that he did and the milestones and the everyday moments, but not the detailed timed like feedings, right? Like that didn't matter. That doesn't matter anymore to us. And so this is a, just a thought and idea. I'm not saying that you should go to your closet and throw away all of those books or anything, but when you come across something like that and you are thinking it's time to let go, just simply open it up to a few of the pages, just like you can see here. Snap a nice clear picture of one of those pages that's opened up, like a layout. And that will be sufficient enough if you feel like that would be acceptable and if you can really let go of that book. Make sure you're using natural light. The best way to do that is to open a door or be next to your window where you can open the book, have it flat on the ground or the table or whatever surface you're using and have that natural but indirect light um, to illuminate your subject or the, the book, the paper, the artwork, whatever it is that you're using. All right, one last tip for you. Speaking of the mundane and the everyday, I just recently was um, going through loads and loads of laundry and I came across a few little items and that's typical, right? When you think about everyday, you think of typical, you think of mundane, you think of ordinary, you think of everyday happenings. Well, this is the everyday life that I live. I find stuff in my dryer all the time. It's not a ton of stuff. Our family of five doesn't produce like, you know, buckets full of items, but I do regularly find little treasures that the kids did not take out of their pockets or the husband. And, and I don't normally take pictures of these things, but once in a blue moon, I do think it's interesting to just put these items on a clean, clear surface and snap a picture because that is like everything else you're taking for everyday moments. It's a part of you. It's a part of your family. It's a part of your story. All right. So there you have it. 10 tips for everyday photos. Hope you cultivate a good life and record it.